Good morning, friends. No response. Government was subscribing 
to the temple of our parents also. RBA protection was also in vain in India banks. Banks were suffering at that time. So you have been also taught it to let the consolidation of banks is better the of providing an opportunity for the banks, the bigger banks, to come in India, or the banks they want to become bigger. So they will be in a position to compete with the other private sector banks or foreign banks that may come in the future dates as per the WTO agreement. <laughs> but when they introduce this bill, when they introduce this in the budget session, or rather in the budget speech, the Honorable Finance Minister said that they want to privatize the two public sector banks. And later on, when the media person specifically asked them, do they really want to privatize two public sector banks? <coughs> Finance Minister was very categorical in saying no, not at all. It can be more banks. Because they need a big amount of 175,000 from the disinvestment of the public sector banks. That doesn't make difference to them whether that is a loss making bank or a profit making bank, bigger bank or a smaller bank. Or number of banks can be 2, 3, 4, 5. It all depends upon how much money they get. But from the disinvestment of the, these two public sector banks. So you can have very, very naked. The aim of this government is to sell the public sector banks, not in any ideology. They want to really prioritize the public sector banks. <laughs> if that was a question, so we really took up at the year B11. We went on to this strike in the month of March 2021 and in December also when this uh, amendment to the banking law was, was uh, listed in the business of the parliament so they did not bring that amendment to the laws and again it might come because the rumors are there that in this session, current in the session which is going to start very shortly, government is going to introduce this bill. In the parliament, they want to amend the banking laws, they want to make that part with them so that for future, whichever bank they want to privatize for every bank, they need not go to the parliament again and again. They want to have that power in the cabinet itself. Cabinet will be for five morning, and that day itself you will get to know this and this bank is going to be privatized. This is a very dangerous conference. The law of youngsters who are joining these public sector banks, they have come out, even the gathering during the strike on the privatization of public sector banks was more than the strike in which the participants used to participate, the number of participants used to participate. It was bigger than this and it was bigger than the wage revision also. So that in itself shows what is uh, the amount of money that people are carrying on their shoulders. People are coming from different industries. <coughs> they are leaving the jobs. They are coming to these public sector banks because of the security of jobs. Once the job in this public sector bank is also become like a private bank, any day you can be hired, hired any day you can be fired. So this type of a policy will come in the banking sector also what will happen to the security of the job. You have to realize it. <coughs> government of India is bent upon <coughs> to liberalize the labor laws, to give the opportunity to the private banks, foreign banks, more than the public sector banks, even at the time of demonetization, at the time of general yojana, at the time of any of the loans, 
that are very powerful if you see anything you see is any bag that is coming to the to their uh, this uh, is a uh, central banks no private banks has come to the rescue to take the government schemes rather they are ready to take the government business which is degrading one but they are not ready to take the government schemes which are not degrading they are not there to open up branches in the rural india in the name of rural banking and all these things and it is only the public sector banks which goes on opening the rural area branches they are the sufferers the branches are suffering even as state bank of india we have opened a lot of rural branches we have suffered a lot because of the profitability from this rural area but we are doing the actually because we have opened the branches as per the government of india requirement as per the banking inclusion as per the pcs demands as per the financial inclusion wherever we feel that financial inclusion is required we are the first even in lay the dark up to trust kangir we had gone and opened the branches similarly in the north east or in the most difficult centers if you see anywhere the banking sector it is the public sector banks and especially the state bank of india which opens the branches quite frequently if we now bother whether the branches will be profit or will be losses whereas the public sector banks do not fear all these things whereas the private sector banks which are going to open if any of the branches they are they will like to open that they will like to open up in the semi urban area or where they know that they are going to get the business they are going to get the profits so that is why they are going to branch it less of the area they are not there friends with these threats generated for the bank unions is holding a meeting on 8th of this month maybe from bangalore we will go to bombay and hold our meeting on 8th itself in the morning and give a call for this thing give a call study in the <laughs> fear of the residual issues that we have entered after the 11 pipe and settlement we thought because three years is already over the people are eagerly waiting for the radius we should make an agreement address of the issues that we were assured by the ip that they will take up it will not be the record note type of understanding that it will not be taken up for rest of the period we were assured that during the next two years they will resolve all the pending issues like private banking the like pension application like all the issues that will be the but unfortunately i we have not called for this meeting during the last one and a half year not even the one physical meeting has taken place so now we are going to call upon the i we immediately call the meeting very quick will be left with no other alternative except one addition to resolve these issues because we feel these issues are to be resolved before the start of dialogue on the trust i mentioned friends we are celebrating the platinum jubilee of all india state bank of india staff foundation 75th year of its existence our foundation which was started from chennai by imperial bank of india indian staff foundation state chennai circle and kolkata circle were the two <coughs> which took initiative and uh, this foundation was born first meeting of the foundation was held in october 1947 in chennai itself and thereafter it is going to be 75 years now in october and november so we are going to celebrate the first meeting we had of this platinum jubilee was from chennai the same center where the first meeting was held and again the last meeting will culminate again in calcutta where the last meeting of this uh, 
Federation. There were the two constituents, Calcutta as well as the Chennai. So Madras was the first. So we had had the first meeting in Madras, and this will be culminated in Calcutta, where which was the second constituent of this all-India state of the Star Federation. And Mumbai joined the later on to make it an all-India state bank of the Star Federation. So with this, during the period 75 years, what we have achieved, you know very well those who are sitting there, there from the last 30, 35 years or 20, 25 years, what the Federation has achieved during the 25 years, 30 years. Because whatever you are trying, nothing has been paid to you in the silver platter. If anything you are trying today, it is because of the efforts put in by all India State Bank of India Staff Federation. We are going continuously to corporate centre. We are discussing the issues, discussing the issues in the corporate centre, management regularly, and when the issues are, when the issues are, this is uh, issues are of such nature. When the management feels yes, they have agreed to that point, then the bilateral signatures of that issues is taken place. And bilateral agreement is done on the subject. It is circular come from the corporate center. So during the last 75 years, what we have achieved, 1960, we had gone for 21 days in a minute's time. Again, 2006, we had gone for six, seven days in a minute's time on pension issues. And at that time, even the government has agreed that all the three benefits paid to state of India employees are genuine one, and these benefits will continue to be paid was stated by none other than the finance minister of that time, Mr. P. Chitamra, who gave this statement in the evening when this time was called out that all of the benefits paid to the state of India employees are genuine one, and since then we have been continuously getting the paid pension revision continuously has been taken up after the 8 500 settlement, 9, 10th and 11th, it has gone up. So, all these benefits which has come right from 1947 was a hard work. What we have lost in that, what we have gained in that, that is all going to be going to come during this year. We are going to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee all over the circles throughout the, throughout the country and your circle will also be witnessing the celebration of this 75 years of uh, this existence of the Federation. 1960 was the time when we had started asking for the bilateralism, the awards has gone, Shastra, Desai Award. Bilateralism has started from 1966. In 1967, another bilateral settlement, the first of its kind, was signed by the State Bank Management along with all India State Bank of the Staff Federation on 31st March 1967. And after that, we have signed many agreements with the Federation and all these and the latest in this series has been signed in February, the single transfer policy that has been circulated in the circles just now at Goa in 2022. So friends, this is nothing but a constant effort of all India State Bank of India Staff Federation. Whatever you are getting today, it is a hard and matter, a hard and benefit that has been given by all India State Bank of India Staff Federation. If you see anything of that sort, nothing, nothing and nothing has been paid to you by the bank itself. If you see anything and that is being paid to you, whether it is a mutual, I mean uh, individual carry progression, whether you see it is a carry progression for Saksa, whether you see it is a compassionate appointment for Saksa, even for clerical staff, you see any benefit that has been taken out. It is the benefit that has been taken out by all India staff, staff federation by continuously driving in this post. Even if you are getting 500 rupees as a part of your salary, 
which is nothing difference between you as well as the other type of employees. Why? If you see, if you think about it, why it is being paid to the employees of State Bank of India alone, not to any other bank, you yourself will get to know the difference that you are trying, why it is being paid to you. If you are being given an in promotion, after one year, why the promotion is being given to you, you have to think it twice. If you are being given a housing loan of 60 lakhs, if that housing loan is insured by the bank, why that loan is insured by the bank, why the premium of that insurance is being paid by the bank, it is to be seen by all the bank. You are nothing special for bank. You are a simple graduate. If any one of your friends had gone to other banks like Pindar National Bank, Bank of Baroda or any other public sector banks, you can compare your appointments with that person. I remember during this wage revision negotiations, even one of the union demanded that 400 rupees that is being paid to us as a convenience allowance be converted into only a five years of pension. 400 rupees convenience allowance that we were getting up to 10 bipartite settlement, they wanted it to be converted into a petrol of 5 liters alone and the reply of IPA was not, 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 not even a single liter of petrol for us. And Yasser is getting 13 liter for his <laughs> Have you ever thought where from this 13 liter has come? Why the statement of India employees is getting 13 liters of petrol even in the substance category? Why you are getting entertainment announced? Why you are getting newspaper announced? Why you are getting a one month salary as a, this uh, festival advance? Why you are getting ten protection? Why you are getting house loan of 60 lakh? What is that so important about you that your insurance of that house loan, your life insurance, the premium of that policy will be paid by the bank? What is so special about you people which is not there? Have you ever thought of it? You have also come up from the same colleges. You have also joined the bank. The bank is State Bank of India. And you joined the other banks like Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank. These benefits would have not occurred to you. You are nine like hundred rupees on the day. You joined the bank on the very first day. What is so special about the employees of State Bank of India? Why you should get all the free super education benefits that you are getting today? Have you ever thought of it? Why you get so many benefits during Corona period? Why this compassionate appointment scheme has come immediately after the Corona period? Where from all these benefits are accruing to you, 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 and you? Why these benefits are there? This is only and only because of all India State Bank of India staff and teachers, which always makes in touch with the State Bank management. And when every person seeing his service slip asks, if this is the net loss to me, 100 rupees or 150 rupees, what this union does for us? This union does the same thing which a mother does when a child is sleeping. She is loving him. Child doesn't know that mother has loved him. Same is the benefit being given to you. You people do not realize what benefit you are getting from this union. But that benefit is silent. Today, you are getting what you should get, but you have not realized with whom, with whose efforts you are getting all these benefits. The other unions, they are charging us, they are telling us that this is the thing, this is the union of NCB, they do not go on strike on any day. When we ask them, what is the need of going on strike, they are not political organization. Our management is so right enough that they understand they call us, they discuss with us, they agree to the genuine demands of the foundation. Then what is the need of the strike? So friends, this is all the benefits that you are trying today, whether it is A shape, B shape or C shape, whether it has come today or it has come yesterday, all these benefits are because of the constant 
cities between the management of State Bank of India as well as all India State Bank of India's companies. So I will not take much of the time. I have already taken both of the time allocated to me. But I will give you some slogans and I hope that you will reply back those slogans. Are you ready enough? But no Josh, not at all. Are you ready? Yeah, exactly.